So we recorded a whole clip explaining how I was setting up the laser and Alex didn't push the on button. So it was really funny. We talked about how to set it up. We talked about how it's cool. She was explaining all the parts. I was so proud. And then he just didn't push record. It didn't hit record. So I'm making myself a new water bottle. My current one, the coldest water bottle, I love, but uh, the top has been breaking and it's like the same price of buying a new one and I have a laser, so it's like, let's just make one instead. I have a gift shop with the or like, wholesale prices on everything. Might as well. Right. So I, I'm gonna have this really pretty flowers pattern with bees and stuff, so I'll show you when it's done. And we're gonna sell them in the store yeah, and online, and we I designed them. I don't know if we're gonna sell them online because they're, they're, everyone is a different color. So and they're hard to sell. Like a solid yeah. color. I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, once you see the art, if nah. you're interested, maybe we can always run them if they're neat. Yeah, something. made to order. Yeah. We'll always have the colors in stock, is my but goal. But I went with this like peachy color. I'm on the fence about it. Luckily, I have 20 other colors to choose from. So if I'm not crazy about it, I will switch. That is our air compressor to compress air to make lasers. Yeah, I mean, they're related. There's a reason. Laser! Yes. Pew! Thanks for watching! I'm also considering this lilac one or this like teal blue, but there's also a mint blue. Oh no. Cause I have a mint here, so maybe not. Let's just, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. So this is how it turned out. And it wraps all the way around. So freaking cute. So not gonna lie, I was Friday years old when I realized uh, I could check out cookbooks from the library. Cause I have wanted to try these two. I've heard really good things about this one and I didn't wanna buy it because I don't know if I was gonna like it or anything, but you can get them from the library, like duh. And then I heard a YouTuber talking about this organizing manual for bringing your like life together. And I just wanted to check it out without, you know, actually having to purchase it or anything. So I think I had like calendars in it. If I'm not mistaken. I was excited about that. Maybe I got the wrong one. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But it basically goes into how to organize everything. Oh yeah, there's calendar. So I wanted to check this out and maybe scan them if I like them or something. But the library man, it's where it's at. My Erin Condren order is here and I'm so excited. Okay, stay. So I'm pretty sure I'm actually in this, which is crazy. So we'll look through that in a second. But here we go. Oh, I got so much stuff. So I actually did a shop along with me where I picked out everything. So if you want to watch that, but I got this beautiful cover. But if I uh, end up going with the folio that is in here, I have to like figure out something to do with that cover. But I got some sticky notes. It came with this free pen, which is exciting. Also got these snap and bookmarks. This is a planter, but this is my A5 folio. So let's take it out because I can't do this with, with just this. There I am. That's me. I'm on the back. Back page. That's pretty freaking cool. I wonder if I can convince one of my friends to give me their copy so I can keep one and then like scrapbook one. Oh my God, it's so small. Like this is the regular planner I'm used to using. And this one's so tiny. I don't know. It's beautiful though. I don't know if I can make this work. Oh boy. All right, I took some time to set it up and actually they made a mistake that's gonna work out really well in my favor. So this is the July to December 2021 inserts. And then they sent me the July to December 2022. I ordered just one year, so I'm missing my January to June 2022. So they're gonna send me that, 
but then I have an extra six months, which is freaking awesome if this is a system I end up liking. So I set it up, I had my pen and some notepads and stuff. These boxes are a quarter of an inch smaller than the standard size. So I might just make my own custom stickers. Do you guys want A5 stickers? Like, is that something I should post and list on the website too, if I'm making them for myself? Because I think I'm also going to make a new habit tracker that fits in this spot. So I already wrote down all of the dimensions for that and I'm making them for myself. So should I just make them for you guys too? But it's super classy. I think it looks really, really sophisticated. I have my business cards, a cute little hello, and then it closes up. I think I love it. I wish that they sold A5 like note pages. I asked their customer support and they said that they don't have them. So maybe I can figure out how I can get some A5 lined note pages. If you have any suggestions, let me know because I think that would make this even better. So instead of preparing for my next meeting, like I should, I am currently on Amazon and I think this will work. And they have a bunch of different options. So I'm gonna buy it. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna buy it. Movie magic, those inserts that I ordered are now here and they are the same size. I don't know what I was like skeptical, like A5 is A5, right? So I'm gonna put a couple of these sheets in the back of my rings. Who am I guys? I feel like I'm a whole new person. Like, what did 2020 do to me? Okay, I think I'm finally understanding the point of rings because this is really cool. I literally bought a completely different type of paper and I can just put it in my rings. Like, I feel like this is obvious for some people and most people are like, duh, Kayla, like that's, that's it. But I just didn't, I didn't get that. So I just added some note pages. I just like, I just clipped them in, boo. There they are, I have extra, this is crazy. I haven't taken photos yet, but these are more pins from other companies that we are listing on our website. I'm going to start carrying. So there's two of each so I can do front and back photos. This guy's really cute. It's a little dinosaur with books. I love them all. Of course, I mean, I, I picked which ones we were going to carry, but they're pretty freaking fantastic. Look, that's a yarn sheep. All right, friends, so we're outside. We're going on a little adventure, mostly because I wanted to show you how great our mulch looks, but also because a duck has made a nest with some gorgeous giant eggs. Look, like we, we tried, but then I need a weed whack and uh, just, just uh, we have to turn our sprinklers on. Owning a home is hard. She's right in there. She's protecting her little nest from the lawnmowers. I think it also helps that we did a terrible job maintaining this area, so there's just grass everywhere. She just flew away, so I can show you guys her perfect nest. Look at that. Oh, they're so perfect. Good job, mama. 